Hello everybody, welcome back. Tinker77 here. Today we're going to go over a tutorial on the red coder. What this device does is tell you a signal output from a comparator to tell you uh, which one or how strong the signal is by not lighting up all of them but by lighting up one. So the idea here is if I have something in this chest, one stack of something, the comparator output has enough strength that it lights this first torch. But if I add another stack, you can see it turned that torch off but then lit the next one. Even though it's got signal strength for both of these, only the one is lit up. Now, let's see if I can duplicate this here. Okay. So now if I add one more, the next torch lit up. Based on the amount of items in here, there's a variable amount of strength from this chest. But what you're noticing here is that it, these will turn off, only the largest one will be lit. And that's what a red coder does. Now, this is a series of red coders all in a row. And it, the more I add to the chest, the more this will light up and you'll see this light go all the way through. Okay? So let's start to talk about how the red coder circuit works. The red coder circuit is a one wide tileable redstone circuit. And what it does, it has two parts that you really need to be aware of. The first part is the bottom section. What happens is, if a redstone, this gets powered, let's consider this to be on, this block is powered. So what happens is, it lights this repeater, which powers this block. Powering this block will turn this torch off, and because this turns off, it turns this on. Okay? So let me put an item in here. And you can see it, this has got power and it's going through. Now, this, the trick comes in the second half, okay? And we're going to add that right now. What happens if, like for instance, this is, if I were to extend this out, you can see that this one is not being lit. The, the signal strength is only one. It's not two, three, or four, or anywhere up there. So what goes on is, if you have a block up here with redstone, in effect, we've increased the length from 1 to 2. So now this is a 2-strength circuit, or what would need to be 2 strengths. And if we take the output of that into this block, you can see it's off. Okay? So what you have here is, if both circuits are off, well, then the torch ends up being off. If this one is on, it'll turn the torch on. But if you turn on the top part, so you have a bottom's on and the top is on, it will again turn it back off. So let's add more here. Okay, it should still be on, but now if I add more, you can see it activated this, the upper half of the circuit, which, like I said, the bottom part is on and the top part is on, therefore, they're both off. It's like this is, it's hard to describe, but in essence, they're canceling each other out. And that's the trick with this circuit. Okay. Now let me show you how to build it really quick. You should be able to make it pretty easy, but I'll just do a quick little tutorial on how to build the circuit and you should be uh, good to go. To start out, we're going to build the comparator chest section, which allows us to create the variable it, uh, output. So now we're going to make a four block red coder. So put four blocks out and then go underneath. Okay. Now on those, put repeaters facing away. Okay, then we're going to put blocks in front of those with redstone torches on them. Blocks on top of the redstone torches. Okay, and then redstone torches on the blocks. Okay, now the next thing is put repeaters right here going into that block. And then put a block on top of the first repeater that we had before and then redstone on all the blocks here. And there you have it. That's the red coder circuit, a four block one. So we can test it out. We'll put a stack in here. First one lights up. We'll put another stack in there and it goes to the second one. From that, from the between the first and the second, it's only one stack. After that, it takes two stacks to do anything. Um, so let's go and get some more like this. So it won't change when I put this in here, but the next one it will and so forth until you have enough like this here 
to do to check the entire contents of one chest. So that's it. Thank you for joining me today for this tutorial on the Red Coder. I am Tinker77. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section below. And of course, if you'd like to be notified of any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.